Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Jelaine. I'm the owner of what? LBE. All right, y'all. Y'all see what's missing? What was in that corner right there? Big Bertha. That's what I call it. My Christmas tree. <laughs> She came down yesterday. Okay, I ain't got time to play with her. Uh, so anyway, as y'all can see, I got Valentine's Day. I have orders. I have everything in the background over here. I tell my husband, y'all, you and you and Max gonna have to go. Okay. Uh, so we have already moved them out, and I've already cleaned up down here and reorganized. And um, I'm starting to shift the gifts over to this area, um, and just fill in the rest of the the couch, which is not really full filled in yet. Um, I still got a box of bears back here in the back that need to go in gifts um, and things like that. But anyway, I uh, came on here to show you guys uh, one of my orders I got going out. This is another order for another customer. Um, this is for a middle school. Um, they're having eighth grade night on Tuesday, next Tuesday. Um, and so this order has to be completed and delivered. Uh, well, she's coming to pick it up. Um, on sunday so i'm trying to go ahead and knock this stuff out so i can continue to work on valentine's day i do not want to delay my orders just because i want to finish valentine's day i got to get the orders done so that's why the party favors are done as you can see they're right in front of the teddy bear um and then i have some more party favors uh right here in this box back here baby i'm rocking and rolling with these orders okay uh i got my energy back thank y'all so much for your prayers uh i'm still in a little bit of pain but i'm, I'm managing it's, it's okay it's not as bad as intense as it was so I'm doing pretty good, okay? Thank y'all so much for reaching out to me, checking on me, and things like that. Uh, sciatica is nothing to play with, but um, I've been making sure I do everything my physical therapist told me the last time I had sciatica, and it's been easing my pain, okay? Uh, so anyway, let's get into this video. I'm going to show you guys everything that's going to be included and how we're going to put it together. All right, all right, y'all. So first things first, um, again, these are, these are eighth graders. They're having eighth grade night, which is the basketball team. Um, and they wanted to put together some little bags or something for the team. Um, and they gave me a nice budget so that I was able to, you know what I'm saying, splurge a little bit on these 8th graders. Um, I think they're getting better gifts than I ever got when I played basketball. 8th <laughs> grade and high school. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, but anyway, since they're athletes, I decided to go with these Adidas bags. And I picked these up from my local Marshalls and Ross because, uh, you, of course, you one didn't have enough and I had to go to the other store to get it but they was right next to each other in walking distance literally right next door to each other where I go to shop at so I was able to just slide on in there and get them and come on out um I have added this box um inside of here I wrapped it in black wrapping paper the black wrapping paper comes from Hobby Lobby the black wrapping paper comes from Hobby Lobby, okay? Because I know somebody gonna ask me, where'd you get that black wrapping paper from? Hobby Lobby in the party section, okay? Um, if you go like every other week, they have different stuff on sale. Use the wrapping paper in the party section to be on sale like 40 or 50% off. So I was able to get me a roll of that, which I'm glad I did, but I got that last year sometime because I knew I was gonna need it. So anyway, this box fits perfectly inside here um and giving it some stability at the bottom so it doesn't wiggle and move and do all the other type of stuff now i am going to have to add some paper in there so i'm grab some of my um craft paper that i got for 25 cents at family dollar a couple couple months back now as you can see i'm using the craft paper and not the other brown paper that i normally use that's because i don't need anything really really thick to go into this bag or it'll make the bag all form totally off so, I'm not balling it up all the way I just need enough to stuff inside of here and to make this thick enough to hold the items that are going inside Uh, next thing, I'm going to add some tissue paper, just one piece on top because I don't want the craft paper showing. Alright, first things first is I'm going to go in, when I find my fishing line. I'm going to go in with the fish line and I'm going to um, adhere the bear to the bag. Um, so y'all just hang tight for just a second and I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick.
right y'all so um the colors for the team are blue and white um and this is the closest to blue as i could possibly find and i need something cool to go in there and something large um just to make this gift stand out just a little bit more these are still you know young girls um so we're talking like some are 11 12 and 13 i think they'll still be good with a squishmallow um i mean it's just like a pillow so at the end of the day um but anyway i found these of course for at the local um walgreens um and they were five dollars a piece which worked out really really great instead of me having to pay 25 dollars for them um and then i'm going to add this foam board i cut out um just to give some stability in the back because i have to attach some items to it as well that i'm going to be adding into this gift so i'm gonna slide this in the back real quick all right so now that i got that in the back i'm gonna go ahead and add my basketball again this is a basketball team she asked for basketball related items um and so i decided since their their colors are blue and white i was able to find these at five and below for five dollars so I'm going to add this basketball in here and it's going to sit right here on the side of the um, Squishmallow. And if you, if you see, I'm using the strap, the long strap. I, I closed it down to make it small and I'm using that to secure the basketball in on the side so the basketball doesn't move. You got to work these gifts, honey. <laughs> and as y'all can see, I used the fish line twice. Um, I tied it along the um strap of the bag and also at the bottom strap of the bag to give me two um two secure um holds on the squishmallow so it doesn't go rolling off um and the next thing i'm going to add is going to be um the water bottle she requested i ended up finding a white one instead of blue i couldn't find any blue so i went with white um and then also i end up finding these um speaking of which i need to take the price tag off end up finding these um blue and white uh sports socks at marshall's as well with, along with the bag so that worked out great too because she wanted some other stuff that was sport related um the only thing i'm waiting on will be the uh the necklaces that i ordered um because she asked for either a necklace or a bracelet or something themed to uh basketball in there um so i was able to find some that had a basketball on a uh, chain charm on one side the big charm in the middle was a heart that says she believed she could, so she did. And then the other side has a heart charm on it um, with a basketball. I mean, uh, a heart charm on it with the words basketball on the inside. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take my... And I don't know why it done came off this thing. Alright. So I'm going to attach... Um, roll a piece of tape and attach it to the back of this cup. And also I'm going to roll a piece of tape and attach it to the back of the pair of socks. Um, because of how this basket is formed and because I'm using this bag, I have to level up some of the items. Sometimes you have to do that. Um, I hate for things to shrink down inside stuff. So sometimes you have to level it up to a certain extent. Uh, so that's the reason why the foam board, I mean the, the board is there. And then I'm just going to add this in and I'm going to attach it with a piece of tape that way and then I might put the socks right next to it so that they sit up and be elevated inside the basket um, and then the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my other tape now I use this easy start tape this packing tape y'all this tape is no joke and I don't like to tape things down and when I do I use like the inexpensive tape to do so because I know you can pull it right off so I got this inexpensive tape here um, then I'm going to swing around the front of this so these do not shift. Um, and this tape will not bring off the paint uh, on the cup or anything like that. So it actually works out pretty well. It's just some inexpensive tape, but it still holds the items there. Um, so I just wrapped it around the top. Um, next is I'm going to go in and add the candy. Of course, y'all know, I told you guys that I got this... Uh, boxes of sour patch kids from walmart after christmas and we're gonna go in and add two boxes to each one um because the chris it had christmas decorations on the outside but it uh was regular candy in the inside now what i'm doing now is i'm taping them together but i'm kind of stacking them to stand out to show that there's two boxes so i'm taping on the front and the back so it sits up like a deck of cards 
And then basically you just want to slide that in. It's not going to go down in the basket. It's going to go up under the straps. You slide that in there. And put it to the side because I also have to add one more thing in here. All right, and it's just going to set on the outside of the bag right here on the rim. Um, and then I'm going to take a piece of tape and attach this one piece of fish line to that box to just give some extra security. Um, the next thing she asked for were Takis. Um, and I got the variety pack because I was like, babe, I'm not going to be able to fit no big old bag in there. And then plus, I didn't want to go too far into the budget to where I didn't make a profit. Okay. Uh, so I want to make sure I stay within the means of making a decent profit but also presenting a excellent gift so by using those i actually get four bags in each uh basket i'm gonna slide that back some and then i'm gonna stagger these just like i staggered the uh the sour patch kids and again i'm gonna use my inexpensive tape Cause I don't want that tape going to rip holes all in that dog. These doggone takis. So I'm gonna cut off a piece of tape, and I'm only gonna tape the back of these because you really don't need all that extra tape on these bags. So as you can see, they're staggered like uh, a deck of cards, and then these are gonna go behind the strap. And the strap is basically going to hold these in place in front. Like so. Alright, so this is pretty much the gift. Um, I'm going to wait until... I'm going to I'm gonna, uh, cellophane wrap it, but I'm going to wait to close it up until I get the necklace in. And then I'll add the necklace. And the necklace will probably be sitting like right here in behind the candy um kind of high i'm gonna tape it probably attach it to the um squishmallow little thingy uh let me trim this board off i use my shears to trim it off just because so i can give it a little style just in case i cut cricket because i baby i'm not about that straight line life uh, unless i got some guidance <laughs> and then i'm gonna take the sock hook and tape it to the uh attach it to the top of the board so it won't be just sticking out all the way um, but yeah, but this is what it looks like again. I'm going to close it up to a certain extent. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like um, All right, y'all so here they are um, Closed up. I basically just like I said left the top open as you can see um, the cellophane is, is um, slouched over um, and I'm just waiting on the um, Necklaces to come in and then we'll add the necklace to the rest of them and get them closed But this is what they look like um, for those y'all who are wanting to know. And uh, I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.